Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. Let's grab ourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks, and let's get into today's video. Quite excited. Um, so today's video is going to cause a lot of mess in my bedroom. I had to do it in my bedroom. I can't do it downstairs because the mess of carrying all the clothes. So I am doing a curvy girl styling so i've been doing on my instagram a lot of different outfits each day it's sort of like it was a little bit mostly outfits and then a few other bits on there didn't really do crafts because you do a whole craft and then someone flicks for it in a second and it's just it's a lot of time and obviously as i say with albert i don't have the time to do that but like showing what i'm wearing each day is really simple because i'm already dressed just literally film myself wearing the outfit and then upload it and then it's done but I've had so many lovely messages and lots of people saying it's given them a little bit of inspiration of what to wear. And mostly my messages come from other girls that also are curvy. So obviously this is for everybody. These are just little styling tips that we have. All ages, all sizes, short, tall, you know, curvy, slimmer. It's any, any, anything. These tips will apply. Um, but I think sometimes when you are curvier, you sometimes feel a little bit insecure. I know everyone feels insecure, but I think it's a thing. I think with the way the media is and stuff like that, you always feel like you've got to be slim. Um, and I remember being slim and still having so many hang-ups. I was at my worst then. And now I'm curvier and I've got so much confidence. So I know it isn't to do with size, but there are a lot of women, they do message me and say, because of their size, they didn't know they could wear this. They would wear baggier clothing. They wouldn't think of wearing something that tucked in here or wear a belt to draw attention to certain areas that they didn't like. Um, today, I'm going to do a few outfits and I'm going to show you a few styling tips. So I'm going to do outfits for the week. Um, they're all going to be for this time of the year, like this kind of weather. Um, and I thought it'd be a little bit different and it'd be something that I do on there that does well. And I thought I'd share it on here too because I know not everyone has Instagram, nor does anyone want to have to have Instagram. So I'm going to do it on here and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So I'm going to start off, I am wearing this dress by the way because I know people laugh because you just love a fun dress. I got this from New Look, I think this was two years ago I got this from New Look. Um, so they won't have them now but very, very Valentine's-y inspired. So I'm going to start off now with the first outfit. So I will just let you know, I've just got a normal bra on and I've also got a pair of my Primark Spanx on. Now to be honest with you, they're just like cycling shorts. Um, it's because this dress has got like a really high thigh split and I didn't weren't wearing tights today so I didn't want it to sort of like blow up and you see me mini everywhere um everywhere <laughs> like it's so large it's just like everywhere it's not <laughs> um but i put them on but i do want to let you know i'm going to take it off anyway and show you anyway so i've got these spanx now i will do a video with shapewear at a later date because i know some people really love wearing shapewear and i will wear shapewear and i will wear it you know when i'm going out for a night out if i want that little confidence boost Nine times out of ten, though, I don't wear shapewear at all. Um, and I only put it on for YouTube, usually with a black bra. So it looks like I'm kind of wearing an all-in-one to be a bit more covered up, like more like a... As if I'm wearing like a bit of a 1950s swimming costume. Do you know what I mean? Because I did have a few people be like, Rosie, it's a bit crass being online on your underwear. And here I am in a bright pink bra. Oh, well. Um, but I will just say, I've got them on because of that reason. But I will just say, like, look, these, as you can see from the side, it's quite good to keep the wardrobes light so you can see. I do have a little mum and tum here and when I don't have these on my belly is exactly the same as when it's not on these have got like literally zero support in them they're like loose tights they're not sucking me in at all so when I show you these clothes they will be exactly how they look and I'm more than happy to even put a pair of cotton knickers on so that you can see I just think sometimes I like to wear the VPL knickers that have got no visible panty line on them and they are quite petite and my bum is going to be out. I've got a pretty sizable butt, guys. And also, as well, they come up quite high on the groin area. So no one needs to be seeing pubes either. So that's the reason why I've got these on. More so that you don't see my knicker lines rather than actually sucking you in. Because I know some people will be like, no, Rosie, I don't want to wear something that you've got to wear Spanx with. These items you don't have to. And if you go onto my Instagram and have a look, every single time I've done a reel and worn any of these items, I've not got Spanx on at all in any of these items. And they look exactly the same. So just clearing that up because they're old Primark ones. But I will do a video. I did get some other shapewear. I will say the waist and um, thigh center ones, I think they're £35 from Marks and Spencers, are the best ones that I found ever. You don't need to spend more than that, to be honest. Even that's still quite pricey. But I think the Primark ones, I won't rate them. These are very, very old ones anyway. They do roll a little bit at the top now as well. So I'm going to get in and show you the first outfit. Right, so I'm going to start off with some basics. Now, if you are building a capsule wardrobe, 
get very similar colours. I would say if you're going to go for more navies, get more whites and beiges and greys complement this lovely. Um, I like navy. It's a little less harsher than black. I do have quite a lot of black in my wardrobe. Um, but if you are building a capsule, navy is quite a classy colour to go to. And lots of colours go with this. And in, your, um, in the summer, corals and pinks and peaches go with this lovely as well. Um, so first off, first outfit, I'm going to start with just a plain t-shirt from New Look. Now this is a ribbed one. Does that class as plain? long sleeve top now i love a long sleeve top and i love a long sleeve top in a dark color i feel like it's very very flattering um and also they're ideal because when you've got little mucky kids like me <laughs> handprints that don't show up super comfortable but it can look rather chic now i have been going for this crew neckline which normally i wouldn't actually go for i've got a few in slit neck which look really lovely um but more of a crew neck top is really lovely because it's just a nice cut it's not too high i find as well that if it's too high i end up getting pushed up like this so i like this neckline and it's quite demure and it isn't making my boobs look ridiculously long in it either so i do like this i do like a v-neck but i feel like this with the certain items we're going to wear it looks quite classy like this so quite a nice crew neck and it has got like a little scallop on the edge and it's just a plain neck. i don't know if you can see it's like ribbed you can see these are lovely basics you can get them most places i found this one from your look is amazing because these wash up so lovely this has been worn so many times and they go straight back snap back onto you and i wear a size 16 these are £10 each, I think they are. No. And two for four, two for 14. No, two for eight. That's the short sleeve. So two for 18. Um, I'll link them anyway below in the description. But these are really good. And I've got them in grey, pink, all different colours because they're just so lovely and they wash up really nice. They don't have any shrinkage. They're a nice length too. And I'm going to pair it up with another basic. So these you can't go wrong with in your wardrobe in different colours. One thing I have been buying, like it's going out of fashion, are these silk bias mini midi skirts now i will just say i personally think these look lovely on everybody's shape and um, my mum is an apple shape and she likes wearing these as well but i know each to their own sometimes people feel a bit conscious so i will show you a different style design if you want to opt for that instead and um, but these silk biased midi skirts are lovely they do these in petite they do these in tall ranges as well and these are just such a lovely casual classic that if you wanted to pair up with a shirt you could make this more working and more smart you could pair it with like a really fancy with lace top going out with some high heels and yet again it's another piece so it's really really versatile or you could just pop it on with a plain t-shirt like myself and you could either wear little white pump trainers with this or like little brown like loafers with this if you wanted to to make it a bit more casual but smarter high heel boots you can really style these up lovely i really love a satin midi skirt they're really nice just a little tip as well if you do get static i always just use a tumble dry sheet and rub it over and it gets rid of the static but some people have said spray hairspray inside i don't know how that would work but <laughs> that's just my little tip tumble dry sheet and um, so wearing it like this now i will say i know some people as well are going to say <laughs> rosie if you've got a belly look you can still see my belly in this but we've all got bellies it is what it is i can't remember a time when i didn't have a bit of a belly sticking out so <laughs> i'm just wearing it as it is and trying to be as comfortable as i can because i deserve to wear nice clothes too regardless of my size and um, but what i am going to do is put a belt on now under your bra here is every single person's smallest part so if you're an apple shape and you carry more weight on your belly and you have smaller legs or if you're a pear shape and it's more on your bum here and you're a bit smaller here or an hourglass not your actual waist that's here i'm talking about that little bit of bone directly under your bra bone that is where it's everyone's smallest part so this is a really good trick as well because if you put a belt there it's naturally going to draw attention to that little midsection there and really cinch you in and draw attention to that and it draws attention from other areas so i am going to put on a belt with this now i'm going to go for this belt, this is an old Primark one, it's like a bit of a dark brownie ox bloody one, I think this is quite nice to go with this. Now immediately, it's drawing your attention right there. So I've got like little hip dips and my belly and stuff, as soon as I put this belt on, it's drawing your eye to here, it's such a good little tip. So this is one of the outfits. Now, some people have said, Rosie, how do you keep the belts staying up? Because they'd just drop off me. Now, if you are an apple shape, 
your belly should kind of hold this bit up here. If you're pear shaped, it should kind of hold it up. If you do have, if you're very blessed and you're very, very tiny here and it's going to keep slipping, it'd be very easy just to stitch in a little bit of ribbon at the sides um, so that you could tie it on or little loops. And a seamstress could do it really cheaply as well. I'm sure there's skirts with belt holes as well anyway. Um, but this is how mine just stays up. I do it tight enough that it's not going to slip down. Um, and then we've got this little outfit together. Now, I probably would wear this with some nice brown boots because I think the navy with the brown. So I have got my Christmas sow boots that I'll probably wear with this just to blend in. So they've got a tiny little heel so they don't hurt my feet. I can't wear heels. They kill me. Um, but these are quite nice because you get to wear these and they're not digging in, shall we say. They're not making my feet feel like they're going into the ground with my toes. So I've got these or I might wear a little pair of brown flat ballet pumps i mean you could wear a really really tan belt if you're very very matchy matchy but i'm not i quite like the slight different variations on the brand so i probably would wear these boots you can wear tights if you want to i just i'm quite i run quite hot got a little bit of weight on me and i tend to be warm gary always says to me you're like a bit of toast i'm always so toasty and warm um so i've got these boots and yet again, these are really versatile. You can wear these with anything really nice dresses. And these even look really nice with jeans as well and like flared trousers. So I've got these boots on as well, which look really nice with the outfit. Now, I'm going to go on to another capsule piece. So I'm going to be wearing mine with a smart looking coat. But you definitely could make this a bit more rocky by adding a jacket instead. Now, first outfit. I'm going to wear my navy coat. One tip, if you want to look put together and stylish, wearing all the same colour, you will always look really chic and put together. So if you're wearing a different variation of cream, cream and cream, it will always look really nice. Um, and I think navy is quite a smart colour. So this coat I got from the Any Day collection from John Lewis. So Any Day collection is like they're really lovely, super basics. So like they're really nice looking, but they don't have the John Lewis price tag. They're really nice luxury like pieces. So I've got the navy coat and it just looks so well put together. It's so simple. It's so comfortable. I've just got a comfy t-shirt on, comfy skirt. It's really nice with my jacket. And I could wear this as smart. I could wear nice little strappy high heels with this and have a night out. And I could also have this a bit more casual by wearing like more of just a plain like cardigan knit with this instead and the little flat belly pumps. And I mean, we are just going for the all navy. I would probably mix this up, maybe put like um, a black belt on this with a bit of gold on it because I do mix navy and black. I don't think that's a bit of a faux pas. I've got these boots from Primark. So I might put these boots on, a black belt, and then to rock it up a little bit if you want to go a bit more casual going out for drinks with friends a little leather jacket i would definitely get a little leather jacket if you can and especially a little crop one i think the crop ones are always such a nice length because they cut in here at the waist um and they always look really really smart so i like a little leather jacket you could always wear that or a dark denim cropped um jacket as well they've got some in h&m that are really nice which would have the same look um but leather's always a bit more expensive it's more of an investment piece it's something that you buy and then you have forever um but you can get some really really beautiful ones i just prefer to um as i'm getting a bit older like years ago when i used to get paid when i used to work i would literally just hit top shop up and be like i wear that i wear that i wear that and then sometimes things wouldn't last my, my nan is always by the standard of buy once buy good and then it will last you forever. It's price per wear, not price per item. Um, right, let's get these boots on. <laughs> so this is outfit number one. Now I will just show you with a skirt, but we'll go on to outfit number two anyway. Ooh. So with a skirt, so my mum will wear these and she's an apple shape. So she's very, very slim on her legs and she carries all of her weight on her boobies and her belly. Um, she's been, she's been, she's ranged from like a size 10, like growing up, she's been from like a size 10 to like a size 20. Um, she's at about a 14 now, my mum, still comes around and nicks, she literally come around yesterday and started nicking clothes out my wardrobe. Um, <laughs> so that's all right, I'll just, I'll just belt it. <laughs> so cheeky. Um, but she does wear a lot of A-line skirts or pleated skirts. Now she wears them because they come in here and then they pleat out. So over the tummy area, which she's not too fond of. I mean, I'm, I'm of the mindset of just let her hang out. Um, but she will wear A-line or pleated. So, oh, sorry guys. If you're wanting the style, 
but you're wanting it to be more forgiving around the tummy area then pleated skirts and a-line skirts your best friends so a-line is basically like the shape of an a they come in smaller and then they flare out enough to give you that shape at the bottom because apples tend to carry their weight more on the top and then it evens you out by adding that little bit at the bottom instead and i would always say go for a fitted top go for a more fitted top i always say lots of apple shapes feeling so self-conscious that they wear skinny leggings or trousers and then an oversized top actually if you do the reverse of that it's you know it's much more flattering so if you wear something more fitted on the top half it minimizes this half and then wear something more ballooning on the bottom half and it makes you more of an hourglass right by the way i just want to let you know i'm sharing these tips because i get asked for these tips and when i share them people find them useful however i will just say I don't really like the term flattering because that means to make yourself smaller. Um, and I don't necessarily think that you have to be smaller to look great. I really don't think that's the thing. I think wear what you want, own who you are. But I do understand that the way that the world is, not everyone feels comfortable in themselves. I mean, I will wear oversized baggy jumpers and leggings and trainers, with my hair on top of my head like Miss Trunchbull. And I still think my worth is just the same as when I'm completely done up. I think confidence definitely comes from within. So when I'm sharing these tips, I don't want anybody ever thinking that I'm telling them to make themselves look more flattering or appealing because that's really not the case. These are just out there if you want these tips to have, a, you know. So yeah, they're there anyway. <laughs> I'm just clearing that up because I will not be a part of the culture that tells you to make yourself into something that you're not or disguise or be fake like to wear clothing to look a shape that you're not because that's not really what we're doing it's to make you feel as good as you possibly can right so anyway on to the flare skirt now this is more of an a-line so it kicks out at the bottom and it goes out now if you do have a tummy you can see look it just kicks out over the top even my bum it just kicks out and it's lovely and the pleats just add a really lovely detail that you've not got anything on show it's not fitted it's not tight you wouldn't even know that there was any bumpies or anything under this skirt super forgiving and um, i was gifted this skirt um in october by finery london i shared it on my instagram a couple times and it just completely sells out they do it in navy and they do it in pink however i found that sainsbury's it was only when i was linking the jumpers when i'd done that sale video that i saw that they had finery london in sainsbury's like so in the two section they sell finery london this black skirt went down to 11 pound <laughs> guys on instagram sold it out straight away but they will be coming back with stock because i've noticed the pink's back in stock now so definitely have a look and also debenham sells finery london go on shops that sell it because sometimes the shops if you sign up to their news it or they'll have sales and they'll have all of the items included because i find finery london as terrible as it is they've given me this skirt but i'm just being honest and um, i had no obligation to share it but i did anyway because i loved it it's called the lottie skirt and i just want it to death that you can get it for a real fraction of the price. So I think it retails at like 45. And um, so 11 pounds for the skirt was an amazing bargain. Um, and it's just got the most beautiful swish factor. And I have dressed this up. I have dressed it down. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna dress this up with another style. So right, I'm gonna get another top out. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I'm gonna keep this skirt on and we're gonna do a more like going out, but you can have this as casual as well. Another little styling tip. So, <laughs> pink bra, zing, here we are. <laughs> right, it's so a pink bra, black out. So I've got this bodysuit. I would definitely recommend to anybody getting a bodysuit. They are amazing. I know when you have to pee, they're a pain in the bum, but they are pretty good and you ain't got to keep tucking it in and it don't keep flapping out and it always fits lovely and lovely and fitted and there was that really nice stretchy material you just feel really nice and snatched in it so this one was from in the style this was part of the ash is range and it's so so nice i love it it's so lovely and secure for the purposes of this bit of the video though i'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to tuck it under so i think wearing a really nice fitted like vest underneath one of these lovely sort of a-line or pleated skirts just looks so pretty and demure and lovely my reasoning is because i don't particularly like my tattoos um i've said this before the reason as to why but i don't particularly like my tattoos if i didn't have my tattoos i probably wouldn't wear this i'd just 
be out on show but I know this would also be helpful to women that are not particularly fond of their arms either so this is a really nice way of not adding so many layers that you're sweating hot but it also gives you the look of having it all out but just gives you that little comfort security blanket as well so I got this sheer top from Primark I got this about two months ago, but I have seen them in my local one in Colchester. So I'm not sure if they had them, but I know that they even do these on Amazon. So I will have a look and see what I can link. And if I can link any similar, I will. But as long as they're like reasonable prices. But I think I only paid like £6 for this. So as you can see, that's two layers and you can still see me completely through it. Um, so just a lovely mesh top over the top of this so that you've still got the shape of like your arms out and it looks really nice. And you see the skin through it. It's really nice. Um. Just adding this little layer over the top just makes it look really pretty, but immediately I feel more put together and it just feels a bit more classy. Um, right, tuck me in and it's not boiling because it's basically no material. Um, so I've virtually got a vest on. I feel like I've got a vest on. I don't feel hot and bothered. I feel nice and comfortable. It's not like wearing a jumper or a long sleeve top. But, so even when as you go into spring, even different colours of these, um, it's just really, really lovely detail. So, I thought with this, it just looks nice. It just looks lovely. And I don't feel like I'm on show. I can't, don't feel like my tattoos are like this thing that you see straight away, like the big black tattoos. I think it just looks really nice and classy with this skirt. Now, I am going to probably wear the leather jacket with this because I do like the little crop style. And I'm going for a bit of a grungy look. Why not? And I'd probably, you could either wear this really demure, so you could have like the, a longer coat on with this. I might mix it with a cream coat in a second. But I think a little leather jacket, this would be a really nice going out outfit, like on a night out, some like simple heels. You could even go for a bright colour just to have a pop of colour. Um, but I probably would wear my ankle boots. Let's pop, pop one on to show you. No point putting two on, is there? I'll just pop it on to show you because the camera can't angle it great. Right, these boots are amazing. They're 18 quid from Primark and they are perfect for chunky calves. They don't cut in, they go up and they're sock ones. They go right lovely on the ankle. And yeah, I'd wear these because I think they look nice with it and they come to a nice length. Um, can you see the outfit in this window, mirror? No, you can't. Well, that'd be a good idea. So I'll probably wear these boots and this would be how I style it up. But equally, I'm going to pop on my little, um, my little, do I have to do the little, little? I'm going to pop on my little tan ballet pumps. Got these from Clark's. These are well old. Right, do the bow up. I love the little shape to them on the top. I think they still sell them in there. Um, I did, they're just like the most comfortable little ballet pumps and I am going to get a belt, I'm going to do this into my own advice but what I am going to do is I'm going to get a to lighten this up so it's not so rock and roll on the edge I'm going to put a tan belt around the middle this one looks so cracked this is my I'm going to tell you a little secret now. This was, so bearing in mind, you can see where I used to wear it as well all the time on that line there, right? You can see it. This was the belt <laughs> that I used to wear for my jeans. <laughs> and now I've kept it, bearing in mind I was 21. No, yeah, 21 and 22 I'd wear this. So this would be there. <laughs> belt but look where we're going with it and uh it looks sexy around the waist who cares so we've got the around the waist here i'm going to pull my skirt up my faux waist the waist under my bra the little secret the little secret squirrel area that makes me go oh yes i snatched in and tiny right there we go tuck this in and then i'm gonna pop on a cream coat or like a brown coat or something and it really just with the browns Looks really nice. Ooh. Oh, I like this outfit. I think it looks rather nice. I feel like Kira Knightley. I look rather pretty, actually. Oh, right. And then got little um little pumps. It just looks really like a really nice little 
little outfit. This would be quite nice as well for work. It's quite a nice outfit. Or you could go for like a plain block top if you can't get away with wearing a mesh. Do you know what I mean? Um, I thought that was quite nice. That's outfit number... Well, it's kind of like <laughs> three, but it's two. It's two because I wear it differently. I'm going to take the belt off. Now, I'm going to show you... No, I'm not showing you how to dance. I can't dance to save my life. I wish I could, but I can't. Right. So we're going to step away from skirts now. So they're like two skirt outfits. Right, guys. Now we're going to have a jeans outfit. So I'm going to style up my jeans. So I love just chucking a pair of jeans on with a t-shirt. I can't lie to you. Not everything has to be the most adventurous thing in the world. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to show you how I'm styling mine up recently. To feel really smart so i've got like a really casual feel and um, but i just feel nice and smart in the outfit these are the new look mum jeans now i'm telling you now these are the tory fit mum jeans i will link them below i'm 5'3 but my inside leg is a 28 so i have got to say i do should be wearing petite size jeans these are the size 16s they've just been washed so they are at their prime i love how they fit when they've just been washed they're so lovely like i mean look i've got spanks on and they don't do really anything because they're old but look at the snatch on the jeans look at the snatch on the jeans they're such a nice jean on the bum as well they just curve it and also with the length on the foot they're like the perfect ankle grace <laughs> my neighbors could say it's like the perfect the floor's lava. The perfect ankle grazer jean. I got this from H&M last spring. These ha They have them in there all the time. This one I ironed the other day. Put it on and then decided to change my mind that I weren't wearing it. So that's why the sleeves are rolled up already. So I showed this on Instagram as well. You can do this little hack. So it's a really nice shirt. You can obviously just put it on tuck it in if you want to put a nice belt on it's a really nice shirt however i've been liking to wear my shirts like this so we're going to get our collar ladies and we're going to tuck it in to get a v-neck obviously i've rolled the sleeves already roll the sleeves tuck it in and then going to get our buttons i want that button <laughs> Go for the right, one, one, two, three. That's okay. There we go. No, I want the slutty button. <laughs> the one that's a bit lower than that. There we go. Got the slutty button. Right, there we go. <laughs> and then we're just going to do our buttons up. And then I'll probably take it to about three. Then what I've been doing is, is rolling the shirt, bringing the bulk mostly round to the back and then twisting it in so we've got like a little bit of a flap to hang it down and then we're going to tuck this into our bra see if it works <laughs> and then it sort of just we tuck it down flatten it a bit and then it tucks in really nice i'm going to put a belt on as well i think i'm gonna should i put a brown belt on guys or i'm gonna go oh actually I can't go brown belt. All my brown belts don't fit me. So I'm going to put this one on. I had a few people go, Rosie, what size did you get in the Gucci belt? I was like, it's a bit of a cheeky purchase. It's not real. I paid £10 for it. <laughs> and you have the cheeky holiday purchase. Not brought back bags and that. I brought back a belt. I was like, what size have you got in the Gucci belt? Babe, I don't have a real Gucci belt. It's not real. <laughs> it's my little... This is Gucky. This is my Gucky belt. And... Um, if you're ever in Ibiza, there's <laughs> a nice man. Um, so I'm gonna. So I just feel like it looks nicer tucked in, and I know it's like contrary to belief. I think a lot of people would feel like you shouldn't tuck a shirt in um, with jeans, but I actually think even my little fupa. I learned that's a new word actually. It's called a fupa. Even my little fupa, I prefer the shirt tucked in. I think it just looks really, really nice like that. And no one's going to change my mind on it. So this is a really nice light out. This will go into nice for spring as well, wearing jeans. You could even do this with like a nice tan belt. Maybe some like white linen trousers or navy linen wide leg trousers. So I've got my belt on. 
Now, I'm probably going to wear it, so I could wear it for like my cream coat if I wanted to, or the navy. That would look quite nice because it's obviously the blues. But I've got a tre trench coat that I got from Primark. Um, and I think it's just lovely, and I feel like it's got that spring vibes to it. So you can obviously wear this now, but I think as it comes into spring as well, a trench is lovely just to wear with t-shirts and jeans. Um, so I'm thinking the trench jacket, and then a nice bag. And you can wear this with... Neat myself up with a plain pair of um little white pump trainers or i have got trainers but they're downstairs so like you know like really nice like plimps are white trainers or converse would look quite nice with this i'm just going to put my brown ballet pumps that's what i brought upstairs but i think they'll look quite nice for this anyway so oh, i'd probably wear a brown belt but bear in mind i don't have a brown belt so that fits in the waist but i do think that the brown especially with navy would complement that. Oh, something's going on. But do you know what I mean? I think the brown would complement that much nicer, but we'll just go with it for now. And then I've got my, but if I do want to go for black, you can. I've got my brown bag. And we're still pretending that the, uh, the belt is brown. <laughs> and then it's a really lovely spring outfit and it looks really smart and classy and i mean this is a sort of outfit where i'd feel comfortable going shopping this is nice for the school run as well like running around if you've got to go for a coffee with friends after it's comfortable if you're driving around in the car you still feel really comfortable but it's just got that sort of chilled laid back feel to it because it's just a pair of comfy denim jeans a really lightweight coat a really lightweight shirt it's just really really comfortable especially with the most comfortable shoes on the planet it's just a really nice little outfit so this is my third fourth no, third outfit that we'll go for. Now, with the jeans as well, I'm gonna do a more styled up. We've got another. So I would wear this, I would wear this shirt as well with skirts. I did actually do a reel. So I did wear this shirt exactly like this with a brown belt, with the navy skirt and a pair of high heel boots. And I'll tell you what, it did look really, really nice actually with the skirt, it's a really nice mix on it, but we're going for the jeans, if you're more of a jean person, going for trousers. So the next item of clothing I think all women should have in their wardrobes is a wrap dress, a wrap dress. I think black wrap dress is perfect. I've got this one from the charity shop, I love it. Now I've just got on a black vest top and it has got a bit of a flutter sleeve, but a plain black vest will work probably better than this because it's gonna be a bit annoying on the sleeves. Um, but my other black vest top is in the washing machine because I've worn it. Um, so this is the only other black vest I've got and the, the bodysuit I can't bother to tuck in at the minute. So anyway, <laughs> I've got this one on. This is from New Look um, last summer. I don't even know if they're available anymore, but I got this Bowden wrap dress from the charity shop and i absolutely love it and i'm going to show you why now this is a perfect example of how we're going to mix up our wrap dress to make it go really really far so i'm going to wear it like a cardigan because yes that's a thing um <laughs> make sure the sleeves are tucked in i love the little sleeve detail on this one I do like Bowdoin clothing, but it's quite pricey. I did have a little look on the sale page and had some reasonable bits. But when I saw this in the charity shop, I was like, oh, yes, I've got to get that. So a lovely V-neck. I would suggest a V-neck because then you've got that nice open. This is a very oversized, long look that they're going for. Obviously, you can wear this item as a dress because it is a dress. But what I like to do is also wear it like a cardigan. So I'll get the two bits that wrap round and I will tie them up in a loop at the back loosely so it still mimics the cardigan shape you can even do it on the inside if that makes sense underneath but I quite like just having it nice and loose so and it's nice because like a cardigan would come in and cover you right up but you get, still get to see the detail of your belt your vest and stuff it's really nice and flattering and um, so I tend to wear my wrap dress because I feel like it's a really nice length it comes down quite nice length on the feet and i probably wear some like little pumps with this or these boots i think would look quite nice with the jeans and the wrap dress like this now you can even wrap it round to make it look like a long top because i know some people quite like it longer as well but i just want to show you i do wear these as cardigans my wrap dress i've got a white one as well that tends to be in the summer white linen trousers over the top of a vest yet again the same now the wrap I'm not going to actually use the hole. You're not going to see that, especially if you wear the same colour vest top underneath. It'd be covered because it, the black's underneath, if that makes sense. Now, I'm going to get the two sides together. Rather than actually wrapping it up and making it into a dress, 
I'm going to gather as much as I can and I'm going to knot it and just pull it and you can either tighten a bow at the front like that. I like to put it, wrap it round at the back and tighten a bow because then I'll show you. It makes like a long top, which is really nice as well. You always like a nice jersey wrap dress in your wardrobe. I mean, the shirt ones do the same thing. Pull it forward so it looks like a, there we go, cover them up together. So it's all nice and tied up at the back. And then look, it makes a lovely long top which looks really pretty and it is literally just one item cardigan top <laughs> or like i say a dress so i'm going to be wearing my dress let's pull it in take the jeans off now but it is a really nice look i would definitely recommend a wrap dress so i'd say a nice shirt in your wardrobe a nice wrap dress a nice pair of jeans these are just like these are capsule items this is what i mean i've sort of mixed them up and wear them with different things let's take the jeans off can't say jean without thinking of her jean from me senders now nah. i haven't watched these senders in years but yep still think of jean and then wrap it up like i say the shoulders look weird because i've still got this um thingy underneath the top but it's a really nice little outfit and i'll probably wear this for my black boots my friend abby borrowed my uh, knee-high black boots i'll probably wear my knee-high black boots with this especially while it's cold and could even Hold the sleeve slightly. No. <laughs> so I'll wear these ones instead. Um, and you just can't go wrong with a wrap dress. Like a wrap dress is just like a perfect staple in the wardrobe. And it doesn't even have to be a fitted wrap like this one. It could be like a bit more of a fit and flare wrap. And it will do the exact same thing with the top. If anything, it will just look more like a peplum. It's perfect idea for that. And yet yeah, you can still do it like cardigans as well. Especially in the summer, it's a good idea because it takes it from a um wintery item to summer right let's put my boots on <laughs> and then i'm probably gonna wear now it's all on it's quite nice actually because this wrap is quite a low wrap so having a vest on underneath is quite nice because then i get that nice line there rather they actually sell them like little um things that you can pin into your top and it's like a little lace thing they're quite cute and you can button them into so i've just got my boots on and i'm thinking a little pop of color guys why not a little pop of color i say color it's not even really bright but and then i think with and then i think with this dress i'm gonna wear green why not Honestly, my coat collection is ridiculous. I've just got so many coats. It's my favourite thing to buy. And I think it's because I always buy oversized coats. But some of my coats have been in my wardrobe for 14 years. My H&M big grey one. I just got that out of the loft. And I was like, oh, I'll get my grey coat. And he was like, yeah, my mum was like, oh, I'd have that if you don't fit you no more. I was like, no, no. This is just, I was like, no, I'm keeping my grey coat. Thanks, mum. And I found one of my per Una. It's like a rusty coloured one. Honestly, coats are the best thing. I always buy them in the sale in the summer because then they're literally cheap as chips like one of my mango coats this one um i've got in a different color i got one for 19 pounds like they're so so cheap in the sale i obviously share them in the winter and then people are like oh, that's an expensive coat some of them are like they were 109 years ago and then they went down to like 19 and one i got for like 40 the other i got for 60 um but now this doesn't feel like 149 which i couldn't even comprehend spending on a coat and um, but buy them in the summer and then it's good and I love the shape of these ones so then actually if I lose weight or I gain weight they still fit me I get them in size extra large very very trendy I mean some of them are a bit snugger on me now like I've got a herringbone one that's a bit snug for me but do you know what it's fine I just wear it open I'm not getting rid of it because I know what I'm yeah. I just love a coat it's my favorite thing I like I'm not into really handbags I'm not really into shoes I love a coat because I feel like it will always serve me well and then i've got lovely different coats to wear with different outfits and it really pulls it together um so as i say i would wear this either with black tights or my knee-high boots probably my knee-high boots if i'm honest but as i say my friend abby's got them at the moment because i'm gonna have a bit of a weird leg right now look it just cuts me off doesn't look great with that but so imagine either black tights or the black knee-high boots so that you wouldn't see any of the leg and i feel like that's a really nice 
put together outfit. I'm actually going to wear these this week. These outfits. My bed is literally like a pile of clothes. My bed represents how I feel. I might just climb into it after. Try and have a little nap on my own. <laughs> my nan's watching Albert for me. And it might just be like a really nice little afternoon nap. Why not? It ain't even afternoon. It's still morning. But that's just me. Oh my gosh. And then this is the outfit, guys. This is another outfit. Spanx. <laughs> A little vest and the boots. Are you ready for it? We're going to do a dab if I'm the only gay in the village. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this... I'm sorry, right? This outfit it was so cosmopolitan. You saw it here first. Right. <laughs> the fun way. <laughs> oh, my God. I just know if my sister was here, we would both be dying. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my face. Oh, if I did have blush on... No, oh, I would definitely want to need. I've gone pink on my forehead and everywhere on my chest. Oh, let me laugh. Right. Let's go to my outfit on. Right. And last outfit for the week that I'm going to be wearing, because the weekend is always um, decide on the day if we're doing something. It could be end up at the park, at the muddy, we could be at the beach, and then none of these outfits will fit that situation. Um, or, or might be going somewhere really nice and then I might think, oh, I want to wear something a bit different to what I've worn in the week. And um, right, so let's get another outfit. <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what, actually, being as we are talking about comfy outfits, I am going to pick a comfy outfit because I'm going to show you a pair of these joggers i got. They're insane. They're really good joggers. Right, take this off. Da, 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 da. Right. Um, joggers, where are you? Where are you? All oh, right, the black ones are in the wash with black vest tops. That's what I wore yesterday, so that's why. That's why I didn't have a black vest top. So these are creased. They do need an iron. Right, if you are petite, so I'm 5'3". Like I said, the inside of my leg is like 28, though. These are just a normal length. I actually got the jeans in a 30, by the way, for the Tory jeans. I will put that in the description because I completely forgot to mention that. I went off on the, my legs are 28 and didn't even tell you why. I just got the normal length. I didn't need to get the petite. Um, so I got these in a large. Um, but the length of these is the most perfect length for shorter legs. I wouldn't recommend them for longer legs. I don't know if they do a longer length. But New Look do have wide leg joggers. And they have petite lengths and longer lengths available as well. Um, they're very, very similar. So I got these from H&M. But they're like the most perfect jogger because they're like wide fit and they cut perfectly on the ankle. So they're like literally cut perfectly. They're like wide leg. I mean, they are creased, so you're not getting the full effect, but they are really lovely. So I'm going to wear these. With, I'm thinking I'm going to go for a fitted t-shirt. So I'm going to wear a navy striped top with these ones, similar to the ribbed ones from New Look. This one was from... ASOS, but it's basically the same, like £10 ribbed, plain long sleeve t-shirt, crew neck. I love it. It's navy and white stripes. It's really comfy. This is like the most easy, chuck on in the morning, comfy outfit ever. And I'd probably wear my white, so I've got a pair of white trainers that look like really old fashioned men's 50s PE teachers, trainers, but they're new balance ones, but I like them. They're white and they've got a little bit of navy on them. But like I say, they are down says, you're not too fussed anyway, are you? Are you? Now I'm getting this little voice in my head where I'm like, they can't tell you because the video isn't live, but maybe you should get them. No, because I've got that says, and I've just tried clothes on. I'm really out of breath and I've only ever like done one day of exercise so far. <laughs> so I am really out of breath. Right, tuck this in. Now, I'm not one to wear joggers, if I'm honest. I'm not one to just go for that sort of tracksuit-y look. However, I feel like you can smarten the outfit up without having to, you know, dress extremely smart to look smart. So, yet again, with the navy coat, I will wear coats like this. 
but with my um with my joggers so i wear my nice trainers like my nice little white trainer pumps they're nice because they're just plain white they're clean looking looks nice and smart navy coat for the win it don't even matter that i've got jogging bottoms on it's like still a smart outfit i mean it might not be to everyone's liking but this is this is what i've come to this is my conclusion of feeling comfortable and um, you could also do this with like linen trousers instead if you're not really that into that sort of thing wearing jumpers right i ran down the stairs and got trainers however i decided to wear my converse instead with this this is what i'm going for <laughs> And I'm not running back down the stairs, so I am going to lower the camera so you can see the converse slightly better. Oh. You see? And it's just like a cute... I mean, you haven't got to have your top tucked in either. I just do. But just a comfy school run or comfy day outfit. These joggers are just such a nice length for a petite length. And I like that when you wear like high top converse and stuff with these, you can see like your little chuck taylor and stuff as well it's just a really nice little outfit guys um so i think you can get away with wearing over the size coats with these sort of things i don't think you have to wear like a smarter like um a less smarter jacket like a more casual jacket with these i feel like you can get away with wearing an oversized jacket and i think as well once you get your bag i have just looked everywhere for my primark bag because i've got a primark bag that's like um it sort of fits like up here and it's like a sporty kind of like one that sort of bends to your body and um, because this one's a bit smart really for what i'm wearing it's more of a casual one but i don't know where i've actually put that um so that is literally i have no clue where that is let me pull you back up so this has been my little curvy styling video it's more of like a lookbook guys it's more like just a few bits i have in my wardrobe that i'd wear with everything so a nice oversized coat plain long sleeve t-shirts a wrap dress and a nice shirt i feel like they are things that you can wear with lots of other things and some skirts as well like i normally go for like the i normally go for the silk bias satin skirts i just think they're so plain that you can mix them with everything i think the pleated so pretty that sometimes it looks a bit odd with some other things and um, can look a bit too fussy um but this has been my little styling video i hope you've enjoyed it um i have ordered a few nice bits for the spring from marks and spencer so i'm gonna have a marks and spencer's try on because when i had done a poll on my instagram asking where you'd like me to go and have a little look and also on here when i said in a previous video lots of you said marks and spencer's um, and they've got some really really reasonably priced beautiful items on there and um, so i've got some bits and some bits are online only as well so i've had to order them i've got to try them on to see whether that i keep them or send them back i mean i will have to send quite a few bits back because i've ordered quite a lot and um, but i will be doing a marks and spencer's try on as well so that'll be the next one but hopefully you enjoyed this video if you'd like more sort of similar videos let me know like this because it'd be quite nice because going through to the spring maybe i could do once a month a few outfits i'll do a week's worth of outfits or something if you'd like that sort of thing do let me know and um have a lovely rest of your week guys bye